Hi, welcome back. This is Diane at I and I Studio, and tonight I'm wiring paintings. So I wanted to show you how I do it. I use what's called a D-ring, and um, this is a D-ring. This is a large D-ring. It has two holes for screws. This is for larger paintings. For a painting this size, which is about 30 inches by, I'd say 20, let's see. Yeah, 30 by 20, I don't need something that large. I'm gonna use the smaller one hole D-ring. That should be sufficient. And I'm gonna use a, a fairly light gauge wire. I don't like to over uh, wire them. I try to go for an appropriate gauge for the weight of the painting. And this should be just about fine. I think it'll hold probably 30 pounds or so. In the olden days, we used to wire with these um, O-rings and we put them in like this. Problem being, as you can see, they stick out and the painting would stick out from the wall. We don't really want that. The D-rings are a wonderful device to keep the painting lying flat against the wall. I know that this side is 30 inches long. I want to come about a quarter of the way down from the top and I have indicated the top with an arrow. There's nothing more frustrating than um, wiring your painting upside down and I've done it a million times. So I try to mark them first and I'm gonna go ahead and come down seven and a half inches on each side and mark that so that I can keep the wire consistent on both sides. And I guarantee you, if you have a consistent method for hanging the paintings, the galleries are going to love you. It just makes their job so much easier. So we're gonna put the D-ring at our mark here. We want it at a little bit of an angle facing the inside of the painting. Let's give that a try. You don't want the D-ring to show from the outside of the painting either. So you want to make sure that you're not too close to the edge. I did get a little close to the edge on this one, but it's going to be okay. It'll work. I'm going to twist the painting around to make it a little easier on myself. Let's see. Hope you can still see. And there's my mark. I line the hole up with the mark, get my screw. Usually lands on a staple. Uh, that's just Murphy's Law and that's okay. So you can see I have them at a slight angle facing in. Um, it's not completely necessary. I just prefer it that way. Now, I will put a wire between the two D-rings. Some galleries actually prefer to just hang them from the D-ring, which is another reason to measure and make sure that your D-rings are consistent. That way they can draw a level on their wall, put in their screws proper distance apart, and it should hang just fine. But um, I wire it. That way it gives the gallery a choice. They can either use the wire or the D-ring. So let's untangle a bit of wire. You're gonna to wanna to cut the wire a little larger because you want room to twist the ends. You also want room for the wire to be pulled up. And for a painting this size, I want the wire to be about two inches from the top of the painting when I'm finished, about here. You do not want the wire to come up too high or when you hang it on a hook on the wall, you're gonna see that hook. You want the hook to be hidden behind the painting. 
So let's go ahead and twist our wire onto our D-rings. Pull the wire through the D-ring. Make sure you have a, a nice little tail here and give it several twists. I usually give it about 12 twists. It's just a little idiosyncrasy of mine. I like uh, most of mine to be even. And I didn't count this one, but uh, that looks like it's about 12. The thing is with the weight of the painting, you don't want the wire to unravel, okay? So I have a little tail here, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off with my wire cutter. And then I'm gonna tape the end so that the gallerist doesn't get poked with this sharp wire. And it really is quite sharp. So I like to use an uh, artist tape. Just pull off a little, little piece just so you can cover up that edge, that sharp end of the wire. Some galleries will require that you tape the end. Take the wire over to your other side, string it through your D-ring, and here's where you want to measure so that you're going to get about two inches down, and I use tape measure. I want mine to be consistent. I do a lot of diptychs and triptychs, and it is pretty important that they're all the same distance. The wires are about the same distance from the top. So give it a, a, a tug, pull the wire on the end, that gives me my two inches, and twist it up again, and tape it. So that's how you wire a painting properly. Very, very important. As a, um, a curator, I can tell you that improperly wired paintings can really cause a lot of problems and make a, um, be a real time, uh, take a lot of time away from the job of hanging. It's not fun hanging a show for the most part. And the more consistent the wiring is in the back, the easier the hang is going to be. And keep everybody happy. See, there we are about two inches from the top flat against the sides. Voila, that's it. We will see you next time. Thank you for listening.